on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Uh, Mom, what are you doing here? This is part of the deal I made with that rodent for letting you stay here. Is there a problem? <coughs> no. No, no. Good. As everyone, the students, teachers, and staff are looking, and they see Inko pissed. What? But they look at Bakugo, they see he's horrified, like... Oh my god, I thought my mom was terrifying. What? Uh, did I? Yeah, you said that out loud. What? Wait, you're scared of your... She's the only one that actually hit me. My dad sure as hell won't. Oh. Huh. Your dad sounds kind of like a don't say it. Okay, fine, fine. We won't, we won't say it, but you, you know what we're, what we mean. Yes. As yes, Zinko is staying as well, and she looks at all the students. She looks at the girls, especially as she notices something. She senses something that's like, why aren't isn't this one wearing clothes? Uh, well, we are going to do some training, and we're away. Who, who are you pointing at? You're just pointing at Hagagare. He's like, well, I'm invisible. No, you're not. What? You're not invisible to me. Huh? I can see you. What? Yeah, I can see you. Is it Zuko? He's like, can you really see her? Oh yeah, I can see her. Clear as day. She needs to comb her hair. Uh, wait, as Izuku, he starts focusing his sight. He's like, oh, oh, wait. As a nosebleed starts to creep down from, you didn't. Everyone looking, is like, uh, <clears throat> um, you saw. Agakure shielding herself from trying to hide her shame, but it's too late. He said you saw enough. Now I can never get married. Don't worry. If that's true. My idiot of a son will take responsibility. What? Yes, uh, you have my blessing to marry him if you can't find a suitable husband. Really? Of course. Oh. Mom! You can't just hand me off like. <laughs> I will. Oh, you tell me what to do. <sighs> As yeah, he's looking at. I got crazy. Then just looking, looking away. He's like, can we? Can 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 someone please get her something to wear? Now I can't unsee. I I. Now my eyes are trained to see what there is to be seen. It, as yes, you, you hear a creepy, ominous mu little music starting to play. As this weird black, purple, and red substance just starts to leak out from Oraka. Her staring right at poor Hagakure. Put some clothes on. Right. Now. Uh, uh, what's, what's the matter? Just do it. Or so help me God. Uh. <clears throat> Very well. 
I know he's just running away, but Rucker couldn't help but notice a slight blush with a smirk on her face. Ugh, I swear, if it's a bitch, don't make me have to kill you. <clears throat> Either way. Now that's over. We have something, something uh, to really, truly explain to what's happening. As per you heard from Miss Midoriya, <sighs> yes, she is attending this dormitory. No, she will not be uh, a student, of course. Instead, uh, a temporary position as a combat instructor. What? Everyone looking at Izuku is like, wait, why are you surprised? Because I didn't hear about any of this. Inko. So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you for a good reason. Because you deserve punishment. Punishment, you say? Mm-hmm. Okay, what for? For that display you did, fighting that villain. You couldn't, you couldn't really think that you were going to get out of that unscathed. You think I was just going to forgive you just because I let you still attend here? Well, I didn't expect that. I, I mean, I've I've hoped uh, maybe a little bit. Uh, well, sorry. But uh, if you want to keep going to the school, I'm going to not only be here and I'm going to have to... Uh, hmm. If anything, it could be entertaining. Let's see how right that Rowan was about this school being more secure. Well, he, 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 be honest, is being secure towards possibly villains now. He didn't say anything about you considering your <clears throat> abilities. Don't worry. I'm positive it'll be alright. As everyone looks at the fear on Izuku's face, I'm confused like, dude, that's your mom. Why are you so scared? Because I've never seen her like this. It's finally getting mad after so long. Keeping it out of control. Minus the whole devouring a whole all-you-can-eat place. So, I never knew of anything like this. I'm honest God terrified of what could happen. He doesn't know how this really happened besides her possibly getting angry. And uh, as per he's proof of, anger is one hell of a way to activate them saying genes. So when it comes to the combat instructing, first she pins them against each other. Then, she fights them all at once. She bodies all of them. Greasily. And I mean that. So one where he's like, How come you ain't no hero? I want to be a fan. The uh, woman. I also didn't want to oust Stage all might, so I'm sorry what? Oh nothing, nothing at all. Everyone just thinking What the hell kind of household did you come from? Uh, uh it was relatively normal until this started happening. Now, when it comes to the whole, uh, we need to think about what to do next. What are you talking about? Your successor defeated your villain. B 
beat him to near death. Oh, yeah. And then it's recovery girl. Her, <sighs> Tarina, there's nothing to worry about. My grandson. <sighs> Wait, he's your? Yes, Toshi. Get over it. But ma'am, I don't think I said get over it. Doesn't matter. Hmm. But, but why didn't you tell me? He's like, did it matter? For? I mean, if I knew it was your grandson, I probably would have. You probably would have trained him more better than what you've been doing. Hmm? You put him, probably wouldn't have been such an idiot on how you taught him how to use that damn quirk of yours? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, uh, that's right. He still has one for all. That, that means, yes. Wow. So, he's actually, yep. Oh, that's good to know. You know what? Let us get to the ultimate moves portion, shall we? When it comes to that, it's pretty much the same. The only thing is, Ingo is watching Izuku like a hawk. Just silently judging him like a mother would. The only thing is, she knows what he can do to an extent. She's already been told about how, yeah, when it comes to, you know, power scaling... As long as the kid keeps up with their training, they can far surpass the parent. So she's trying to make sure that he doesn't go too far. And also that he doesn't get fall, start falling behind. Meaning, she's trying to nerf him without it seeming too obvious. That's the problem with this, though. You think he starts to have a little... Spasms of anger every now and again to which she has to get him to calm down or else she's going to beat him down. But during one fits of his rage, it actually occurs when Bago on starts using his AP shot. It almost crushes all might. This is pretty much Izuku's like, you fucking idiot. As in that golden aura has been replaced with a more green one. His eyes change color. And Inko, she's like, oh my god, I know exactly what this is. Her instantly just knocking him out. Bago's like, wait, why'd you do that? I can easily take him on. Like, no, you can't. What? What? No, you can't. You are far too weak to take on my son. W what? You can't even beat me. And he's going to one day be stronger than me. Uh, I... You're serious. You... How should I put this? If I let you go all out, saying you could actually kill somebody, your strongest attack, which is possibly that AP shot, wouldn't even lay a scratch on me. In fact, I have an attack strong enough that could body you as well as everyone else. It'll be that easy. For me. And you're saying. Yeah. My son is stronger. Well. He has the potential to be stronger. Right now I'm trying. To get back into the swing of things. As Bogo has noticed. That she does look more like her. Prime self. 
him realizing, oh my god, wait, so that bigger, thicker Inko could just be the facade or some sort. What? How? How is this possible? Well, her awakening of St. Jean's metabolism is no joke. Her actually being able to use the energy she saved up, be able to train again. Yeah, that kicks up some things. That warrior spirit. And you know not to fuck with <laughs> a Saiyan when they're pissed. Let's get to the professional licensing exam now, shall we? Because when it comes to the whole hero costume change, Izuku doesn't need it anymore. Especially considering how strong he is without one for all. What damage was done to him is already gone. One real downside is that he does start to enjoy fighting actually a bit more. Mixed in with the fact that he has one hell of an appetite. Pretty much enough to rival... Huh. Let's say Fat Gum, Luffy, as well as possibly Goku. I mean, he's a Saiyan, of course. <laughs> but when it comes to the licensing exam, Izuku, he actually does do a lot better. As per canon, if anything, he's not really that much when it comes to overall energy-based attacks. But the fact that he can fly now is definitely a plus. If anything, Inko, she's proud. She's loving seeing how fast her son picks up on certain things. She just really wishes that it wasn't that, uh, hmm, obvious that his quirk is, uh, going through some changes. Everyone's noticed that they want an explanation to how his power based quirk changed so much. After one fight, what was that weird form of his? Could he do it again? Why was his voice sounding like it was layered off top of something else? But if anything, when it comes to Toga, Izuku already knows how to sense energy already. So when it comes to beating her, he can. It's just about that she doesn't have her targets. He doesn't know it's Toga, but he does sense something familiar. But seeing how mm, stubborn she is about getting to know him, how strong-willed she seems to, you could say, find out everything there is to know. She does end up scratching him by catching him off guard. By saying support personal shit. The only thing is he's like. I don't know why. But I. This this fight is actually getting me excited. Because he knows he could kill anyone. Right about now. He knows how strong. He could possibly be. If Inko could destroy the moon. Or a chunk of earth. So he tries to keep himself nice and leveled. Sadly, he has no idea how stupid it was by having that girl scratch him. He started getting more and more absorbed into the fight, enjoying it till he knocks out Toga. He feels sorry for it to the point where he does actually lift her up. He just makes sure that there ain't no more balls on, on her that she could possibly use against him. As he does just fly her to the infirmary. In full view of Araka and uh, yeah, Sero. They, they see Izuku carrying a naked girl fly again. I'm sensing some Mandaray vibes from Miss Oraka. Zero is pure jealous. 
to the point where they can get their, his attention. He looks down and sees the anger emanating from Oraka. And Zero's like, you lucky son of a bitch. Huh? Uh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, oh, wait, no, this is not what it looks like. What were you taking her? Uh, hey, do not make that joke. I was taking her to the infirmary. I like this story, you, you bastard. Oh, come on, the infirmary's right there. Why would I? Why? How could I? Is you No, know what? Fuck this. Sarah. Give me some tape. You deviant. <sighs> you know what? I am seconds away from just killing you. Dude, really? He's like, no. <sighs> it's nanoseconds. If you don't stop the damn jokes. I'm just trying to help this girl. That's it. And I'm trying to bump uglies. I don't have time for that. This is an exam. I'm trying to get my license. Uh, you know what? As yes, he won't, just flies straight towards Zero, takes as much tape as he can, and wraps up Cammy. To the point where, yeah, there ain't nothing showing that uh, would be censored. You know what I mean? As he just flies off at breakneck speeds and delivers her to the infirmary. Sarah was like, I was very close to death, weren't I? Wasn't I, huh? Yes. Okay, so. If anything, I should apologize. Yes. Hmm. Good, I'll, I'll do that as soon as he stops eyeing me like he wants to kill me. That'll be a good idea. When it comes to the whole rescuing people thing, Izuku, he does try his best when it comes to saving people. Similar to how he is a canon, it's because he is a bit more aggressive, knowing that, yeah, you guys aren't really injured. But still has his semi-rolliness peek through as he does get nervous and whatnot. So he's like, wait, why don't I just obliterate the rubble? He's like, oh, I want to do that. As he just, it's gone. Uh, what? Hey, it worked. Ooh, thank goodness, that could have been very messy. What? Nothing. Him just saving more people than he would in canon. When it comes to the fight, he's like, <laughs> if you don't mind, just handing the poor victim to one of his classmates. He's like, <laughs> oh, I got some work to do. If you thought Gang Orca was terrified of Izuku's power before, Izuku, still having one for all, being a Saiyan, knowing enough of the Saiyan family techniques, which his ancestor is Broly, mind you. Broly? Oh. Plus, he loves fighting. Gengorka would have nightmares going up against this kind of Izuku. Especially with his one for all usage. He doesn't even need it, but he still uses it just for the hell of it. So you can just imagine the scaredness, the fear just starting to seep into not only Gang Orca, but his minions. To the point where they're worried, oh my god, we might need to stop this or else he's going to kill this poor man. So it's over. Izuku, he does actually feel a little bit like, oh, come on, you can't leave me hot and bothered like that. It just expect me to not want more. Dude, it, it is not that serious. 
it's nothing serious to you, but you don't know what I'm going through. No, I don't. Right now, I'm, wor I'm worried about your old mental health. Hmm. Whatever. There's nothing to worry about. I, I, I promise. I am as sane as um myself. I just like fighting more. It's just oh, this, the adrenaline starts pumping. I start to get more into it. That's the problem. You're starting to like fighting way too much compared to normal people. If we're not careful, you can obliterate everything by accident. Oh, wow! Is it really that much of a problem? Yes, it is. Oh, well, well uh, I apologize. It's fine. It's good. It, it, there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, it's just... Come on! L learn some restraint! Inko looking at him is a, is a saying. There's pretty much no such thing. You want to go big or go home. Huh. I might have to fight him just so he can calm down. But then again, I can't hurt him too much or else the boost would could be oh, terrifying. Now, how about we get to the whole... Oh, let me think. <laughs> Izuku versus Bakugo. Similar to Canon, he does actually talk about, like, let's talk about your quirk. Only thing is, he doesn't really suspect that he has All Might's quirk. If anything, seeing what Inko can do in their training, say, All Might's your father, isn't it? And you can just hear in the background, Shoto's like, I knew it! Another believer in my secret love child theory. I knew it! No. What I have is something far much more powerful. More powerful than you could ever understand. Uh, you're mocking me. Your quirk is so similar to All Might's. But now you gain more power and your mom has the same power. She reverted back to her prime self as soon as she actually displayed it. Come on. Stop lying to me. I'm not lying. So be it. My cousin their fight. It's boring. To Izuku. Baku is trying his best, but Izuku, knowing how Baku fights, knowing that yeah, he probably switched things up. The longer he fights Baku, the more used to it and more he adapts his fighting style to counter Baku. So right now, Baku is trying his best to switch it up, catch Izuku off guard. It is not working. Wherever Baku tries to counter, Izuku counters that. Whatever he switches up, Izuku will do the same thing to smack Bakugo silly until Bakugo has no choice but to use his AP shot. Which, as soon as he does, it practically bounces off of Izuku like nothing happened. But Izuku does have a slight smile on his face. It's like, finally, you start getting serious. What? As Izuku starts charging up, Bongo can see as rocks start to crumble as they float to his presence. It's terrifying. The ground cracks. 
buildings start to shake. Everyone that's in the building, at least dorms, can feel it. I was like, what the hell? Oh my, thinking, wait, don't tell me. He goes, yeah, that's my son. Uh, apparently he's finding someone. Wait, where's Kotsky? Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, no, no. This is this is very bright. Very, 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 very bright. As yes, they rush down there. And they see Izuku cackling. Laughing his ass off. As they can see a poor, beaten down Bakugo Kotsky. Under Izuku's foot. As he laughs, he's like, is that really all you have? I expected more from you with the way you mouth off. I mean, at first I thought no one would be as strong as you besides, you know, the pro heroes. But you continue to disappoint me as of late. Him, Marco looks up at all my ego and as our... This scene, the state he's in, is Marco just help me. Inko, she geochops Izuku in the neck, him passing out. As Marco is, of course, sent straight to the infirmary. As soon as he wakes up, he's terrified of Izuku. He's like, I've never seen that side of him. What the hell happened? As it goes, it's one of the curses of being a Saiyan. A what? Uh, me and my son aren't completely human. As now, with Aizawa and All Might there, Extend with Bakugo, they get the whole, like, yeah, we're not 100% people. We're not 100% human, you could say. Them giving the explanation, Bakugo realizing how Izuku is going to get stronger after this fight. So I have no hope in beating him. It goes seeing the broken look in Bakugo's eyes. You won't be able to catch up to him. I, I, unless you, I don't know. If anything, none of you will be able to catch up. Only thing I can truly take out of saying is someone beyond this world. You know, or another Saiyan, a Possible God of Destruction or Angel, you no, know, even the Omni King. And she just goes down several lists like, yeah, these, these are pretty much the only people, or these possible beings that can actually take on her or her son. That's how powerful a Saiyan has gotten since then. So, Bogo. He feels like, oh, wait, so I'm fucked. I wouldn't say that. No, no. It's just... It's not... Um, it's not really the fact that you... <sighs> yes. There, There's no... There's no possible way you can really beat him unless you go through... God knows how many years of training without end. And even then, that's... <sighs> really. Now let's get to Sora Nai. When it comes to Izuku taking him on, it goes a lot... And I do mean a lot smoother for Izuku. Only thing is, Sora Nai starts pissing him off by accident. Oh my can that guy gives zero fucks to who he insults. To the point where, yeah, he's a goo, he's like, you some bitch. To the point where, yeah, 
that whole nice quirk it's still it's still working it's just the fact that Izuku is getting faster while still not injuring any of the almighty memorabilia the point where yes there are after images littered all throughout Nai's office as he's trying to constantly stay on the defense but uh, huh I you are a very mm, expressive dancer. Seeing that Izuku just sitting in his chair with his feet propped up to, on the desk. Uh, wait, how? Wait, why? Oh yeah, I'm that fast now. Well, you still haven't gotten <laughs> your stamp. Oh, it's right here. You think we're just tossing it to them? Well, very <laughs> well. I accept your work study. As yes, Izuku, he's like. <laughs> but I will say this: that quirk is very dangerous. Yeah, uh, trying to pick up on it. Yeah, Zara, yeah, you, you could have easily taken me out if you wanted to. Now, when it comes to Airy, Izuku could feel the malice just pouring out of overhaul. He knows what I said, don't touch, just observe and then hopefully you leave. But him seeing how helpless, how terrified Airy is, Hmm. Something doesn't feel right here. As in, just, uh, what? Yeah, your daughter, if that's even true, is terrified of you for some reason. Overhaul. <sighs> He just couldn't leave well enough alone. Him starting to just take off what, his glove is Zuku's like, nope. As he shoots finger beams going for Overhaul's hand. Him thinking that it could be somewhat similar to Shigaraki's, he burns the fingertips off. Hopefully that works, which it, it does slash doesn't. What it actually does is actually uh, weaken it. How so? To the point where, yeah, he can still use his quirk. It's just nowhere near as strong as if he fully utilized it. So, if anything, Izuku just easily chops him in the neck, and that is all she wrote. Mirio berates him, but Izuku's like, Look at this face. Look at the state she's in. You would be a fool to allow her to go back with him. Eri, hello grateful. Izuku, uh, come on, it's Eri. Is it, no matter what, it's, it's just her, her being herself. She's terrified, but she's also thinking, wait, who did I just trust myself with? Who did I just confide in? Not only upon hearing what happened, he's... Are you serious? It, he actually, honest to God? Yeah. What's with this kid? And then we cut to the League of Villains. Which Toga, she's... Just... Uh, uh. What is it? Oh, nothing. I'm just a little bored. Huh. Karakiri. Yes. Have you uh, gotten anything from Master lately? Hmm. 
no. He's told me to strictly uh, keep you on a need to know basis. And he's instructed me to uh, instead uh, talk to the good doctor instead. What? He says for what he has planned, you don't need to know about it yet.